This mission takes me back. Does it? Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have glass bones anymore. For some reason, he can walk on his legs. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two batteries. I can't a believe Krogan we destroyed the collector hell. base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that said about a lot of things you do. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Oh. Talk to you later. That's it, Tally. You're done. <laughs> Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Jack, you just beat the collectors, travel through the Omega-4 relay. I'm sure you have something new to say. Good job blowing that collector base all to hell. No way the elusive man should get the chance to fuck with it. Besides, awesome explosion, right? What's happening? Shepard, you talked <laughs> enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Way to flip it. Grunt! Baby boy. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. I'm pretty sure the Reapers are still out there. Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's all for now. Shepard. Grunt. Hey, Shepard. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Ah, okay, she broke her neck. Yet again. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the collector base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. <laughs> I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Thanks, Gardner. Too bad you weren't brought into the third game. For Sarah, now the collectors. Remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Everybody's got only one line. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Aww. Thank you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I 
I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Shepard, you... Ah! She broke her neck again. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. This, this, this is after, after everybody got abducted. Oh. I've been thinking around the other ride. I just wanted to let you know that I did find a few things from the experiments Rezora was conducting. You... Had you shared this with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are completed, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Gorian people reclaim not just their homeworld, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Razor's death would not have come been in vain. I will complete what they started. Whatever. Kelly! How you feeling, Kelly? You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Absolutely. <laughs> all, the, all your questions now revert back to her default. <laughs> Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Yay, I'm still getting Paragon points, even though the main game is over. <laughs> I told you we'd tear the Collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. It's Bambi Shepard. Savior of the universe. Hey, Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. I assume everything's going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying, you'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Arrival. Oh. Final stage of the game. Hey, Morton. Jacob. Okay, it's a talk to you two. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? <laughs> I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Well, we're, we're supposed to pour some drinks on the Citadel. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I doubt it. I already checked it. Dun, dun, 
Oh, I forgot the most important thing of any playthrough. There you go. Now we can beat the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, technically, yeah, the main story game default is over, but the game, this game, not the first one, let you uh, come back in, you can uh, you know, try to complete some relationships, missions, talks, you know, stuff like that. And you can do DLC missions. Like Mount Everest inside an oven was how John Grissom described Eratok while on a fact-finding mission to see if the Garden World was worth contention with the Batarians. His team ultimately decided that the planet's air pressure and oxygen content were too low for large-scale human habitation. Unturred... Unter... Un, 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 unturred... <laughs> the Batarian hegemony colonized the planet's polar regions and began an extensive terraforming effort with Cyanobiot cyan bi bacteria All right. and impressive plant species. Alliance Intelligence has confirmed that the colony has several Batarian military installations, which are too close to human space for the Alliance's comfort. Uh -huh. The Batarian hegemony considers any presence of Alliance military vessels in Batarian space as hostile. Normandy SR2, while an independent vessel strongly resembles the Normandy SR1, I wonder why, an alliance ship. Use of stealth systems is highly recommended. It's not like I have a choice. Oh, where's my, my where's my team? Uh, whoops, black hole gun. Yeah, whatever. The game bugs out, it's not like I'm gonna be able to use it. I hope that's waterproof makeup you got there, Bambi. Is it smudging? No, it doesn't look like it's smudging. Okay. The mission where <laughs> Bambi Shepherd talks to herself. They've seen us. Burn, baby, burn. Send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Hey, don't we all talk to ourselves? I saw you. Get over here. This place is run down. Even for a person. 
burn, maybe burn. That's right, she can't walk over that. Get your hands off me. I must check out my food. I shall be tall. I am doing Arrival. Basically the last mission available to me. All main missions are done. All side missions are done. Just the DLC Arrival. To end out the playthrough for ME2. I'm trying to do all stealth like. Interrogating a human is a waste of time. Oh boy, I'm getting credits that I'm not going to be using. Ah! I gotta push another button. <laughs> Up and over. No! Get up there! No! There you go. Ooh, iridium. Medgel. Wait a minute, I can get nine? No, no, no kidding. Seven. You want to put that back up there if you don't want to get discovered. If you're trying to do stealth like. more like human than a vegetarian voice. If she doesn't talk, kill her.
are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? <laughs> okay, Jack. I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Oh! Ready. Ready! So... She has... Incinerate and Overload, which you can't level, which you can't use. This is a cell block. Oh. There's a security console here somewhere. Yeah, okay, eight. I can't save it either. Can't reach the target. And so it begins. Hey, that's not fair. It's behind cover. Was that? Continue. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Suppress the teams to cell block now. Damn it, I can't turn it off yet. <laughs> Look at him rush in. No. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you charge? They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. <laughs> this is so bad. It like ten times. Reload. Oh my god. You're not doing anything. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. Okay, okay, okay. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock yeah. it down. Nothing I can do. Baby, burn. You 
You're still alive? How? Get off the map. Side. More enemies on the elevator. Can you be more specific, right or left? <clears throat> There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Did it. Let's move. Oh, <sighs> more smoothly than my first time on this. Now we get to the fun part. Oh, the fun part where I raged. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. Uh huh. Have to get those open the old-fashioned way. Uh huh. Leave that to me. Uh huh. Got two more. Cause that pistol does so much damage. Shot him in the foot, no fair. Okay, don't take cover. No. There you go. Probably had to kill them all. <laughs> Heads up. But why? 
Oh, that's a hell of a spawn. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's not cover. Okay, that's not cover. Okay, game. Oh my god, I can't charge. <laughs> Why can't you charge? Charge. <laughs> Where am I? They threw my shields. <clears throat> oh, that wasn't even there the last time. Remember, I could just walk past that. Why is it different? <laughs> What the fuck kind of charge was that? Charge. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh. Here we go now. Can we leave? He's gonna let me leave. Uh, it's too hot in here. Uh, <laughs> now you tell me. Take out those guards. Run! <laughs> it's too hot in here. Leave now. Can we please leave? Can't reach the target. Fuck you. Can we leave now? <laughs> Check out this cinematic scene. Uh oh, you might want to step away from that. <laughs> Oops! Nowhere in the game does it ever fire out flames. <laughs> Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Okay, the main thing to take away from this, they just retconned the entire first game. The entire first game, 
was based on Sovereign trying to get control of the Citadel so he could open up the real aid into dark space so the Reapers can come through. That was the only way they could get to the universe. So they just retconned it in this DLC. <laughs> uh, God, I love that writing. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. So that's all it takes? No big asteroids have taken out one before? Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, and aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. So she was able to contact Hackett to uh, get this warning out so Bambi can come save her. But she can't contact Hackett to get s proper supplies to move this planet. Uh, okay. Oh, if you say so. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. Yep, yep, we found that out with the 37 million year old derelict Reaper. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. Bambi's been saying that since the first game. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Okay, if you say so. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Why is your hair brown? Kenson Why isn't it red? Face. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. Mm -hmm. We'll be there in no time. Give her back her red hair, goddammit. Here we are. 
Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant and the Reapers will be here. You know, like the movie Independence Day? <laughs> which, which came first? <laughs> You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Oh! I can't access anything. Can't pull up my weapons. Oh, look! Yay! Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. <laughs> she runs sideways. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? A nice uniform you get there. What do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. Didn't I see your character model upstairs? We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson. This is not good. Nope. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. You bitch! Break her arm! Take her down! They've seen us. Open fire! Ah. Can't charge. Ah. I can't charge. Just end it right now, please. Can't charge. Can't charge. Ah. Can't charge. Ah. I can't. There we go. Took you long enough. Still can't charge. What the hell were you standing on? His foot? Can't charge. Can't charge. I got no health. I got no charge. <laughs> whatever game, whatever. Could be a glitch in the system. 
No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! You've angered her. Oh my god. They're wearing helmets, come on. <laughs> How would they go down that fast? What are you wearing, Bambi? No! Take that Cerberus outfit off right now, goddammit. Step away from the terminal. Okay. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. That's her original hair, the default. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. This before the remaster. <laughs> they didn't want to remaster that image, I guess. <laughs> Oops! Uh, 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 uh. I got no melee. Uh, uh, uh. Now, now. Give me another one. Infinite response, baby. That's right, hip fire works better. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's right, hip fire is better than aiming. <laughs> Reliving the beginning? What do you mean? She didn't die. Come on now. Oh yeah, baby, looking better. How much time? I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. Less than two hours. Played that one. Oh boy, hundred credits. Shepard has been sedated constantly for two days now. We've had to increase each dosage. It seemed like Shepard was waking up a moment ago, but it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Looking good there, babe. Make her mine. Okay. A three button hack. Oh, come on, I picked it. <laughs> Don't charge. I didn't want to charge. I never want to charge, like now. <laughs> Bitch!
Maximum security protocol. They've seen us. Uh oh, she's being funneled. Baby, burn! Story, 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 story. Shepherd is tearing us apart. Regroup. Of course she is. She's Bambi Shepherd, savior of the universe. Up its nose. Where are you going? I think I just bypassed the whole section. <laughs> okay, get off to you won't get through here. See, Shepherd. even the computer can't fucking aim right. It fucking hit the wall. Hello there. Can I, can I, can I? Ah, oh, you bastard. You're shooting her. If it was a flamethrower, she'd be fucking getting uh, knocked back. Why can't, why can't you charge? You can't hurt me, I'm behind glass. Nah, 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 nah. Burn, baby! Shut the 
Dorgan. didn't stagger. Right, I'm not complaining. There's the stagger! Is the way out. Out of way. Can't take cover. I can't take cover. Thank you. What the fuck are you doing? Take cover or not? Didn't charge. Why can't you charge? Why can't you charge? Uh, it's gonna be a while. Shepard's heading for project control. Not who I was aiming for, game. How did you, how's it looking to the right? Put me to the left. Trying to run in and fucking reload it on me. Okay, you can't do that. That's not allowed. What are you doing? Now you're clipping. Okay, how'd you miss that? Maximum security lockdown in progress. 
Oh, okay. Where am I going? Yeah. Bugged out. Oh, good. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? They let me decide. <laughs> Project activation in progress. Warning. Collision with mass relay is imminent. Begin evacuation procedures. <laughs> She's just scratching the back of her neck. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alert. All colonists living in the Bahak system. This is... Shepard, no. Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Me. <laughs> I'll pitch you. Hello, Peter. Loading screen. No, put that one up away. Maybe yours, but it's not what you're using. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Then do it. What are you waiting for? Can't you fat and destroy it faster? <laughs> I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. What? I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. The and blessings. you will just die. <laughs> blessings. Damn it, Kenson! Oh, the music. Over here! They don't have any health. There we go. Can you charge? Thank you. That's how you hack a door. <laughs> Charge, charge. I missed. Stop, stop and roll. Stabilize the reactor core. All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process has begun. Got no health bar. You got no health bar. There you go. Don't care about your damn flashes.
sure. 100 credits. Yay! Charge, charge. Come up, big boy. Damn it, this does. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Charge, charge, charge. Why is this open? <laughs> Come on. And over. There you go. This is Williams. I've got Shepard locked in the maintenance area requesting backup. Hi. Charge. God damn it. Charge. Jesus. What, what's the point of this room? <laughs> it's a, a rearming room. Okay. Charge, please. What? Where'd you come from? There, your agony is over with. <laughs> Did I hit the tank? The ten other guys wasn't gonna do it. What makes you think you're gonna do it? Okay. 
Ooh, Izo. Never see the Reaper's arrival. All you had to do was stay asleep. None of this had to happen. Kenson, you don't have to do this. We can get off this asteroid. No, we cannot. Even if you shoot her, she still fucking blows it up. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. How imminent? Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup now. Communication system damaged. Damn it! Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. <laughs> Shepard talking to herself again. So that's the real timer. If you let that timer run down, it's game over. And there's a interesting cutscene that you may want to watch. Like somebody's uh, made showed the video and like I've seen it on YouTube. What happens if you run down the timer? It's in interesting cutscene. Dark stuff. Like loot stuff in there, but this is the last mission of ME2, so fuck it. You can play this arrival as soon as it pops up, but I save it for the end for a reason. I, I think a lot of uh, people play it, save it for the end for reasons, story wise. Look how close that relay is. Can I see your health bar? Is that a thing that's not happening here? Where is it? I know it's here. Where the hell is the stompy stomp? You know, it's hard to see my ra uh, my fucking radar when the alpha relay proximity's in the way. Why couldn't you put it on the left side? We're in the middle.
Oh shit. I want to stand there, that's fine with me. All the time in the world. Give it to me! Oh yeah! Come on, nukes. Where is it? Over there. He's getting close! Touching your helmet, not your ear. <gasps> Who is this? Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. But that ass shot, though. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be, we will fight. We will sacrifice and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Kill them. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Title drop. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. So seeing that Reaper, you have to play really uh, play this DLC really close to the end of the game to see that Reaper. Or show you get a different image if you play it too early before you know it's the Reaper controlling the collectors. Get us out of here, Joker. He didn't have lines. <laughs> he must have been busy. Love the music. Shepard has become the biggest mass murderer in universe history. A whole system gone. Now here comes the reason why I play it at the end. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. 
That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? I know. Bambi, what are you wearing? <laughs> Where's your dress? <laughs> Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming. And destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but... Time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. Yep. All dead. <sighs> I like the renegade options. They're saying, well, she saved the fucking universe. Who the fuck? You have to say sacrifice to save their universe. Or along those lines. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. <laughs> so what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. I still don't understand why. The Alliance can take on the Terminus systems. Terminus systems have no fleets. The Alliance is like the third or fourth biggest fleet in the known galaxy. They could they could do it. Come on. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life. And they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, <laughs> I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? She could have been doing this for the Alliance, dude. You could have just brought her back in. <laughs> Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. We don't need aid! The Alliance will wipe them out! It's, it's, <laughs> it's not a threat. The Batarians are not a threat. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. Yeah, the Riders wrote themselves into a hole. They were they just too powerful to take down. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, <laughs> ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. It's just weird how they treat this, the writers. they It's like you can join and quit the Alliance anytime you want. She's not part of the Alliance. It's like, wear your navy, your dress blues, but she's not even an Alliance soldier anymore. They didn't even offer her the job back when she came there. It's crazy. But that's basically like, uh, I and a lot of people like to play this Arrival DLC at the end because it feels like the true ending, the leading into the third game because uh, she'll face the music when she's done out here and basically she's done. <laughs> and whatever. But yeah, that's it for Mass Effect 2. Bambi saves the universe once again. And she'll have to do it for another time.
yet a third time. Can she do it? Will she do it? Of course she can. Cause she's Bambi! Ah, savior of the universe! Well, at least the rival went smoother than last time. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot worse when I raged. Oh man, it was so bad. Kelly, what are you looking at? I know she's sexy, but stop it. But, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call it here. 43 hours and 33 minutes. And done.